We're here at the home of Paul Revere in the historic north end of Boston. Revere, of course, was famous for his midnight ride during the American Revolution in which he rode out into the countryside warning the Americans that the British were coming. But Revere actually made his living as a copper and silversmith, manufacturing a wide variety of things out of both copper and silver, including industrial supplies. It was because of those reasons that the Navy called upon Revere to provide copper for the initial construction of USS Constitution in the 1790s. Copper was a critical component of even a wooden ship's hull because copper didn't rust, but also didn't degrade and wasn't susceptible to marine worms that could eat through a wooden hull. As a result, copper was used in both the bolts that would hold planking of the ship to the frame below the waterline, but also used in rolled out sheets that would cover the outside of the hull below the waterline to prevent marine growth from attaching to the wooden hull and burrowing into it. Initially, there were no mills in the United States that were capable of creating the rolled copper that was needed for the hull sheathing. So Revere provided it through England, but later it was Revere who brought back the technology for making rolled copper to the US and then provided himself the rolled copper sheeting as well as the copper bolts that were used in ongoing maintenance of Constitution through the War of 1812.